What is up, Monster Train fans? Fenton here. Uh, I played some casually off stream and won. Uh, so that means that I'm now at Covenant 25. So I guess that means now the quote unquote real game begins. My main worry here is that we lose a lot of runs on Circle 8, aka against Seraph, the final boss, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that is now, like, silly. <laughs> you know? That is now the big issue. Is that Covenant 24 and 25 are the same all the way up until the last boss, which is suddenly like 25, no, more than that, 33% like harder, and it's already quite hard, so I'm not particularly, let's just do melting random, um, I'll do my best, but you know, my best is often not great, as we know, especially when I'm recording at the same time. We got Melting Stygian, got temp Seraph the Temperant, two Purifying Cleansers, two uh, Crit Builders, and a Mortal Entrapment, which is fine. Pretty good. It's pretty good against the boss, against Relentless Phases, but it's not. It's not hooray, it's not what do you do. Um, Hell's Banners for energy, which we don't. I guess we could use the energy for Crit Builders, but. Silence is interesting, because it certainly turns off a lot of... It's too random, right? At least you can play around this. And... Oh no. Oh no. I suppose if we take Reform, we can get a lot of energy from Hell's Banners. I suppose is how we play this now. 10-10 is not a lot. It does not really help against any bosses. Uh, we've got purifying cleanses to keep applying burnout to things that we are reforming. It's tough. It's close. I'm going to try this. I'm not 100% on whether this is actually a good plan or not, but there is a vague synergy. What one could describe vaguely as a synergy. And I'm not going to take Mark of Invasion for this reason, because, well, no. I'm just worried about a Rector dying turn one if I do that. Nah, it's too spooky. It spooks me. It gives me a spook. Right, how how is it going then, everybody? It's so it's still continues to be outrageously hot. Didn't get the collector. What can you do? Uh, and I'm, I'm, a, I'm a bit. I'm not ill. I mean, ill is 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 definitely not the word. <laughs> yeah, I I just have been burning, burning the candles at both ends is what they say, right? And uh, I should not be doing that. I'll look, you're dazed, but it's fine. I'll summon a whole bunch of units and then just do this. I probably should have played the stronger one behind the weaker one, but... Damage shield!
Yeah, reform is gonna be all right. I think here for for a little while at least. It's gonna it's gonna do certainly something. It's certainly gonna do a non-zero amount of things for us. It's gonna take some. <laughs> it's gonna take some weird jank to actually get things to do something decent. Wow, really? Why did I get put it on that one when I should have should have put it on that one? Ah, better better play this. Well, I'm certainly glad I didn't take the trial. Hmm. Molten encasement is interesting with reform rector. Because you can just get that back a lot. Except the more you bring it back, the stronger it gets, so the less likely it is to die. Unless we get some sort of sacrifice card, which I don't know if that exists out of uh, melting. No. Oh. <laughs> Take a nice tornado. We got plenty of energy. We can play that stuff. Um, do we want? I suppose we want to lean heavily into melting cards. So let's go this way. We can buff up the magic cards later. Uh, heart and strength. The only two things we can afford there. Paraffin enforcer A for a lady of the reformed. Lady of the Reformed in front of Reformed Dregs is not terrible, but it uh, it's janky, isn't it? Like Paraffin Enforcer, friendly burnout units gauge ra gain rage three. That might work. I might do something. Plonk him at the back. Put keep putting Dregs in front of him. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. I it, it doesn't you know. Doesn't set my world on fire. Of course it doesn't. But I feel like we need to try something <laughs> different here. I'm going to lean heavily into this plan. I don't need to really do any of... I, I, this one is fine. Health with reform is, is, is questionable. Spikes 3 is fine as long as Rector doesn't have to ever attack anything. And it's Barb Disciples anyway. I'm going to not take it. I don't trust Rector to not just die. Ah, I should have played this on the top. On the, on the middle. On the middle. Should have played that on the middle. Never punished, eh? Never punished. Cool. Now you may as well just tank some damage, I suppose. Yeah, this is feeling weird. This is feeling very janky already. Especially because I now can't even put dregs down in front of Paraffin Enforcer. It's very slow, this plan, isn't it? It's very, very slow. Um, what do I need to do here? I need to make sure that you don't get too much further. I 
guess I'll just play Dregs up here to protect Paraffin Enforcer, get the energy, kill you. I mean, I could have maybe applied Burnout to a Drain Steward to actually get it to have the... Uh, get the buff from Paraffin Enforcer, but... Yeah, this is this is terrible. I'm not gonna play any of these cards. Oh wait, nothing's dead. So that means that you're actually gonna reform these exact two units. Oh no, because combat cascades from the top down. Yeah, this is terrible. This is absolutely atrociously bad. <laughs> So I have to leave. I have to leave you to die so that I can put one of these two, two, but one of these two, two space units down. I suppose give you some more burnout. It's just, I can't actually even play this. How miserable! Twenty-four damage. You're dazed, so you just die before anything even gets done. Well, this was a extremely bad turn of events. Okay, well that doesn't work, we know that now. That's not a plan. You can't really do that. Good start. <laughs> two entombed explosives, uh, two energy siphons, and a sacred wix. Seraph the, Seraph the diligent this time. Uh, wing steel is very good. Guild marker is also pretty good. Take the draw. It's kind of just like having a draw relic, really, especially yeah. when you've got a whole bunch of um, zero cost units and uh, cards in the deck. Okay, we're back to this, are we? Well, let's try Harvest this time. That scales better is the thing. The problem with heart, uh, Burnout, not Burnout, Reform Rector is... The only way it gets better is it just says reform three and then reform four. And uh, reforming four is like doesn't even really do anything for the first couple of turns, does it? Alright, I'll we'll take a bit of damage here, but it's fine. It gets Rector powered up. Six. Six for the trial is, is pretty good. Wow. I guess I should draw a card. Yeah. Okay, we're taking in a bit more than six, but... I might just play these on the bottom. Doesn't our rector doesn't need more than seventeen fifty for the first? Oh, I take a bit more damage though if I do that. I'll play one on the bottom. Oh, I'm the best. I'm the best. Again, this probably has to go up here.
It's crazy how much better this start is already. Like actually doing 116 to the boss without even needing Rector. Like. Interesting. This game is complicated, man. I don't still don't think I fully understand it. Molded is generally a good card. Titan's Tooth or Ice Tornado here? Probably Titan's Tooth. So there's offering on it. It's less random. Oh wow, there's no unit banner on this side. I mean, I could have checked that, but there's not really much point in checking. <laughs> this is There's very few decisions to be made. Right, so we've got the trial. We've got a whole bunch of money. Rune stone, ugh, bow stone, and speed stone. Ooh. Ooh. Cold Kalia, battle stone, speed stone is a pretty good start. Six is not loads. Obviously, seven is bigger, for example. But, you know, maybe it doesn't need the quick. Maybe the quick is a, is a mistake. Maybe that's bait. Maybe it's a ruse. Just stick the Colcalia behind anything else. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. I agree with my own assessment of that. And just bail. I'm not a huge fan of purging cards at the first thing, because like train stewards are perfectly fine for the first two combats. Like they are acceptable. Penitent prayers. Spikes three. How do we feel about spikes three? Probably not if the plan but is Colcalia, but I don't think it is the the plan. I don't think it is the plan currently, it's just a plan. We can lean into this because we got uh, entombed explosives and harvest rectors and all kinds of stuff going on. I will play this to draw a card. I'm going to put rector. Um. I think I'm going to do this. Oh, I drew another Entombed Explosive. I'll put this up here to protect Rector just in case something untoward happens. Take any damage here. That's kind of awkward, right? Would have been nice to draw that a turn later so that it doesn't just get wasted, but I think we're fine. Actually, no, I will. I will just play it and use it here. This this is looking a that's looking a bit spooky. Should be enough. Not really what I was after there, but for sure. Good, we made it past the second circle. 
the hardest circle, as we all know. I don't think I need these. Dripfall is, is fine. Dripfall is not a bad card, I suppose. And an offering token for our one Titan's Tooth. But again, it's a good card. You can, it, it's really good with Wing Steel because it draws you a card and it counts towards playing a card. Uh, do I want to duplicate anything here? I guess I need another unit banner, right? And especially Stygian banner, I could find a Titan Sentry or something. When's the next unit steel upgrade shop here? Which, again, is not on the best half. Just double barreled Daedalus as well. This is this is awkward. I'm gonna I am gonna go this way. I might duplicate like offering token or something. Oh. Oh. I'll take a siren of the sea, sure. Sure. Oh, why do you always have to make me make such complicated decisions? Uh, these are mostly not great currently. These are in these are interesting to me. And Umbra just they all say morsels on, so why would you ever pick that? Restore a friendly unit to full health, and then swap attack and health. How about no? Channel song. Alright, we can do weird channel song Colcalia jank here, I suppose. It's risky, because the deck has a lot of cards in it. Oh, but this is random, isn't it? It's draw a unit, and it's not. You don't get to choose. So actually, that's just garbage, because we'd have to go through so much of the deck. Yeah, it doesn't work. I will take this. It's a very powerful card. And it costs zero, so it's good with Wing Steel, and it's good with Siren of the Sea, which I also just took. This is a big question as well. It's either an offering token or a molded. Oh, or it could be entombed explosive, I suppose it could be. I think it's this. That gets us a lot of draw. I guess it's a lot of draw to the point where we probably don't even need to take draw from Daedalus now. We can take, I suppose, energy. Because when you've got the draw, you need the energy to play the cards that you're drawing. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I suppose we just play on the bottom. That's not really what I was after, but sure. I might play Rector in the middle here just so I can do this. And get him started. We need a tank for the Cold Kalia, don't we? We need one. Because this has already gone to pot. Hmm. The best I can really do is daze one of you for a turn. So I... Oh, I could just... Why? Why did I not think of that? Like, that's basic stuff. <laughs> that's, that's real basic stuff. Yeah. 
No, the draw, the draw. This doesn't help. Does this help? Two, dead. Boom, dead. Two, dead. So actually, I know if the Wildwood does help, yeah. And that helps even more, in fact. Okay. Haste. Haste. I kind of want all of these. I suppose I don't need you, I'll just reform some drags. Oh, there's too much going on here. I suppose that's fine. Yeah. And then I need to protect. Rector from taking too much, and then I can just keep playing spells to get the incant totals up. And I guess I'll just bung these cards up here for fun. That's fine, you can bomb up there. I'm, I'm okay with that. That does not concern me. Where does the frozen lance go? Do I do six to this, putting it on twenty-five when it comes up here? Don't need to. It's not going to live, regardless. Nineteen, twenty-eight, thirty-eight, forty. Oh no, it does. It does actually live. Oh no, it doesn't, because it's taking fourteen damage here. And do I, if I put it here, give Siren of the Sea two more, or do I put it here and put fourteen damage into Daedalus for it? I think this is probably the most valuable out of those options. You'd have to go. Siren would have to go seven rounds for that to be worth more than fourteen damage. No, no. It really is not that important. Um, oh, that was nice, I suppose. That was a thing. Should put you there. Insurance, worst case scenario. Certainly, I already have this, I'm sure. Uh, at least the Wildwood's a pretty good draw, then. Wait, I have the space for this, right? Can't see. There we go. Is that better than a, than this? It only goes two rounds, so no. And I can't fit that, which is a shame. Let me just do this. Nice. I, I, that's the button I wanted to press. Nice. Gifts for a guard. Gifts for a guard. Do we care about playing any of our spells more than once? Probably, uh, maybe this one. Makes Siren of the Sea quite big quite quickly, especially if we can get hold over on it. And we probably do have to go this way for the removes, because I'm already I'm pushing 30 cards. 
20 pyre health. We're going to get some pyre health anyway. Uh, that's interesting. I just feel a little bit behind already. I don't feel like Siren of the Sea and Cold Kalia is enough as it stands. There's no... Mm. Ah. Um... Let's sacrificial resurrection and just make the deck really thin. So every single card we play is just unleash the wildwood. And Siren of the Sea just goes massive. I actually think that's fine. That's the wrong shark. Energy, as we discussed. Although there might be a case for space. Let's go this way then. Wait, did I mean to do that? I don't know. Large stone. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Probably, right? Probably. I should go and see what's in the banner first before I actually spend any of my money. Wickless Baron. Lady of the House. These aren't the cards I was looking for. I don't suppose we've got much choice now but to just upgrade to what we've got and see how far we get. Reform 2 is interesting now that we've got uh, Sacrificial Resurrection. Gotta be careful with. I mean, we can just make the deck molded and just play molded, unleash the wildwood every turn. Oh, I don't know. It's clunky, isn't it? It's very clunky. It's all just very clunky. Invasion. Don't really need the money. I definitely have to go. Ah, well, I say that, but there's unstable vortex there. I don't need a merchant of steel. This is looking pretty miserable. I'm gonna take it. I feel like I just need to push push what we've got as hard as we can. We're not gonna win by We're not gonna win by not uh trying to do ridiculous things. And this isn't even that scary really, is it? Like Maybe just Colcalia and Rector Flicker on a floor. That gets a lot of harvests, especially right now. Oh, that's small though. The floor is small. I guess I just play on the top. Rector takes six, but then... Six and then eight, but then I've got... Oh, I've got Titan's Tooth. Oh, oh, okay. Well, I guess we're just playing this then. That's fine. I mean, it's not. It's unfortunate I couldn't get this down, but yeah, this Colcale is huge. She's, she's massive. Look at this Rector. He's going to be a beast. Just dregs, dregs everywhere, forever, endlessly, throughout the universe and in perpetuity. It's just dregs. It was dregs the whole time. Always has been. This is fine. This is a good floor. This is less of a good floor. 
Do I want any of this? I probably should play some cards so that I draw. But I kind of just think I'd like a... What is it? Plus ten. Oh, but they only have five health. I'll just put it behind the Siren of the Sea and that just wipes this floor. Because this is actually getting through. It's not doing as much as I'd thought slash hoped. Unless I spell weakness here... Oh no, that doesn't even kill you. Great. Good one. Yeah, screw it. Screw everything about this. I mean, you can't argue it 50 times too, can you? So we're taking 8 here. Sorry, no, we're taking 11. Eleven sounds a lot more than eight to me, as far as numbers go. Uh, we definitely, definitely need a way to bring these drafts back quicker than what we're currently planning on doing. I suppose... why not? Dex weird, yo. That's kind of how I feel about it so far. We're playing into the strengths, for the most part. Hmm. Fine, I just won't ever play you. Oh my god, really? Are you dead yet? You don't scale is the problem. You scale slightly, but it's really not enough. Plus 2 and plus 10, it's just... I mean, this is a lot of HP, don't get me wrong. But that doesn't really do enough. You don't really tank for long enough to get this Frostbite number up as high as I would like. What can you do? I'm going to descend you, because then you just die. And you come back up. Molded is here. The deck's quite thin, actually, this second. Well, no, that's not true. Yes, it is. It is. It is. It is. It is. Should really be playing that on uh, this floor, where my one incant unit exists. Good stuff. Burnout 2. gets you three rounds. Taking another eleven here. Oh, that gets you the draft anyway for zero. Yeah, I guess, because it's always going to be ten times two and then it's enhanced with zero times. Twenty-two we've taken. That's horrible. Draw. Good draw. Ten damage and ten frostbite is certainly more than six uh, than twelve damage, as far as I'm aware. Maybe we take space. That's an interesting thought. Maybe we should have taken space. Twenty-two damage is not pleasant to read there. None of these fit in with the plan, do they? Drain is generally a good card. Drain, if you can make the deck very thin is good, so I'm going to take it, because that is a game winning card when you can play it against Seraph ten times in one combat. Got 610 gold, maybe we do go this way and spend all the money on removes. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
permafrost. Permafrost and molded is probably a good shout. It makes playing it a bit clunky with this, because you then just have to play it to get it out of your hands, so you don't. Yeah, I kind of just talked myself out of it. Holdover would be better, wouldn't it? Yeah. Double stack drain. I think we have one. Just purge cards now. Just purge cards. Loads of them. We took the trials to get the money. Or did we take? Did we take the trial in that last combat? I can't remember. If we took 22 damage and took the trial. We did, didn't we? Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, may as well. May as well make this... Oh, uh, no, I can't make this free. I'd rather make it hold over. Well, the deck's going to be quite thin, eventually, hopefully. I don't know whether I want to make this cost one. I think we're alright for energy. Just save the 90 gold for something else. Alright, event better be good. Oh. I just spent all my money. These scale at the same time, right? If you pay 25 and it doesn't work, then the both the percentages go up? Yeah. Oh my god, really? Oh my god, are you serious? Five energy when a tomb unit dies. It's not nothing. It's certainly not nothing. Whether it's good, whether it was worth 75 gold. <laughs> there's, there's no way. Uh, whether it was worth 75 gold and 10 fire health. Oh, I don't know. What do we even do with all that energy? Certainly got a lot of draw. Um. Same again, I suppose. I best kill you. So that my siren doesn't die straight away, although it is looking already a bit miserable. Oh, Titan's Tooth. What a legend. What a legendary card. Maybe I do need to take space so I can just play Dregs in front of Rector to actually speed him up a bit. Because currently nothing is happening. Currently nothing's happening. I think he's not getting the harvests. Maybe I should have played him on the bottom. Maybe I should have played, but this stealth scared me, so I didn't. That's why I didn't do that. Could have just applied another spell weakness there, that was a bit of a throw. Sorry. I am not even gonna play them all the time, so relevant. Wow. Very gross. certainly have a lot of energy and cards. It's just a shame they're all garbage. Just a casual 24 there. Yeah, we're screwed. We are extremely dead. Not necessarily on this exact fight, but at some point we will be dead. Two attack here because oh I'll just do this actually. 
It gets, <laughs> it gets the, it gets the buffs, gets the encamp there. Sweep, 790 health. Yeah, no, we are dead from this combat, almost certainly. Titan's Tooth, eh? That helps. But not by a lot. Not by enough. I could draw the sap again, that would be really nice. Siren is getting there, it's a very slow, drawn out process. It is happening. 470, didn't think that that would go that high. Oh, I actually managed it. Interesting. 24 damage. Wicked Blaze. No. Uh, can we win from drafts? Can we win from drafts? Probably not. We probably just have to make Siren of the Sea huge. And then on the sap, we'll just add loads of sap. Maybe... I oh know we'd need two space. Maybe I shouldn't have made you large. 21 sweep. Those is very good. I think possibly I just need to play Rector Flicker on the bottom so that the harvests happen sooner. And then I could always... I can't really reform them. The burnout just... Ugh. Doesn't do much, does it? Guardian's Amulet. More sap, but without... any downside. And it costs three energy, but we got a lot of energy because of these entombed explosives. Nah, nah, it's it's not it's not quite there. It's not it doesn't it's not different enough from from drain, in my opinion. Card removes and health and a dupe, I suppose, is where we're going. What's the duplication, eh? Is it drain? Two double stacked drains. If one discards the other, it's upsetting, but it's really not the end of the world. And it does it does do so much. It does so much. Scourge fell. Don't have the bottom be small, please. Just once. Something can go my way in this bloody game. <laughs> oh, the director doesn't die from this thing. Turn one molded there. What a classic. Six sap. I think I've eaten this damage. I think I'm just taking ten here. I didn't draw Cold Kalia turn one. I don't know whether to zap to sap here and just take slightly less. Nah, I got a Titan's Tooth. I'll find the Titan's Tooth. Just play this. Then we can get then we can stack like 40 sap up on Fel before the Relentless Face starts. That puts us in a good position. This is also a very important combat to be playing on the bottom because then you don't get all of these uh resolve uh weight of contritions in the deck. It's 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 scary. It's spooky. I'm spooked. Spoop is involved. Well, 
there's the Titan's Tooth, so that's nice. And we can actually, uh, we can play it for free, inverted commas. But it takes a incant away. You don't really need that right now. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, good. Well, that's not as dangerous as it once was. Um, you've got 105 health, so that's flipping gross. But thankfully, the Alabaster Guardian will be gone on this turn. So this is less of an issue to start with. I really, really need to uh, And you're dead as well, which is very nice. So actually gonna get fifty here from this this is this has actually worked out alright somehow. I'll just play this now and get rid of it. Let's give sirens two extra in camp, probably. It's random. I hate the fact that it's random. I just can't use it at all for anything. Dead, not dead, not, oh, okay, so we'll at least just go up here. Draw me a something alright, yeah, I mean that's fine, except I don't have any space for it, so. Oh, am I take am I about to take space from this combat? i I guess I do, right? With the with the encased ember and the wing steel. I got draw and I got energy. Maybe I am about to take space in a melting Stygian run, if you can imagine such a thing. It lets me play Dregs in front of Rector to both tank damage and get in more harvest triggers. Oof. The question is, is do I want any of this? Or am I about to just play Sacrificial Resurrection for 5? The deck's very thin after that, and it's got the molded, and it's got the Unleash the Wildwood, and the two drains still involved. The rest of the cards are not. This one's pretty good. Now I can play the, the drafts as well on the rector floor. I'm taking space, I've, I've talked myself into it. Imagine if there was like an unceasing top star relic in this game, where if your hand was empty then you drew a card. That would be crazy. I don't know what to do about this. Yeah, that's not really what I wanted. Ah. Okay. Okay, if you say so. Questionable. Questionable strats. Guess I'm doing this. And then, oh, that's 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 not a bad draw. And then this, ah, play the play the magic cards on the card where the card gets the best stuff. Playing the magic cards, so it's burnout one on it. How useless! Certainly going to have some energy next turn though. Final wave, dead. 
because Sap is a brilliant, brilliant card. <laughs> Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Look at the thing still just ticking up there. There they go. Bounty Stalker. Eight. Is that is that buffed? Was that buffed? Was it nerfed? Maybe it was ten. And I thought it was yeah. It's a different number. That must have happened ages ago as well. Um Spike of the Stygian. We got so much energy. If we can slam that for ten on a turn then Alright, if I take space then I can play Entombed Explosives on the Rector Floor and do a whole bunch of other a whole bunch of other crazy stuff as well. Card removes and health and a unit upgrade that I can't do anything about or an artifact a merchant of magic and some more money. Interesting question. This is irrelevant, but then this is irrelevant. This could be huge. This is definitely nice. How many how many removes have I done from stores? Like three or four? So kind of can't really remove at a store anymore. I'm not super concerned about this. Either. So maybe this is the correct way to go. Then there's a remove and a magic shop here. So maybe, actually, we will go this way. It's a shame to miss out on an artifact, but like if that's cut or beard or something, then suddenly these frozen lances are. Ah, uh, maybe that's a mistake actually, because they help uh, Siren of the Sea get a bit bigger. But I'll get rid of a Drek as well. May as well have a look, right? May as well have a look. 180 for a remove. That's not terrible. <laughs> okay. Oh, suddenly he's got burnout three. Why would you ever suddenly pivot into that? All right. It's um, it's certainly a plan, and we certainly committed to it, and it kind of worked. There's no way I'm taking spikes five, and the multi strike. This is going to be a tough one, though. Like, this really is going to be difficult. Um, because 24 damage against the heavy. Ugh. Ugh. that one there. Oh well. So that just turned that from plus 9 into plus 34. Like, Rector's going to be big. It's just a shame that Colcalia isn't possible. It's not getting a huge amount done. <laughs> so, if, on the one hand, you play Colcalia here, and she gets lots of... she kills the backline for you, and gets the wreck to the harvests down here. On the other hand, you put Siren down here, and you do a lot more damage in one floor against the front. It's not... it's not good. It's not any better. Maybe we're just sapping these units so that they don't do much damage to the pyre. Like... Yeah, sure. I'm 
that's not really the card I wanted. Not even going to play it. Two. All right. This is a this is a, this is a vague plan, I suppose. Unsure. Unsure currently. Yeah, that's kind of what I expected. How much sap is on you? Five. Have ten, so you're gonna go up with two. Yeah. Uh, what am I about to draw? Frozen lance and then some stuff. You have a lot of health. I'll definitely just make sure I take nothing from you at all. Then we'll play the other, see how the other one goes. Oh, I did draw the molded. That's nice. So I can probably just play. Doomed explosive on the top. That solves that problem. Because I, well, oh, you got spell weakness. Okay, sweet. I'll play this here then. Got burnout too. I'm the best. I am the best. This has no right to be working as well as it is. It's outrageous. Double dead. Super dead. Christ. Sorry, I just didn't think when I was talking this plan through. Oh, engulfed in smoke. <laughs> engulfed in smoke and sap at the same time doesn't make a huge amount of sense. Three drains. Um, when I was talking this plan out, when I was like, well, these are the cards that have been offered, and I guess this is the plan that we can do with them, I was like, yeah, sure, it's bad, but we can do it. Oh, imagine if Cuttlebit is in here. Wind Indulgence. Traitor's Quill. Traitor's Quill. Oh, uh, when a card with Consume is played, as opposed to Consume cards in hand, it's not the same. It's not the same. I might re-roll that. I just see what's in here. Oh, oh. Which one is this? Devour your spells. <laughs> That's all right. We got a lot of spells. We can play around that. These energy siphons can go. The dripfall can go. Frozen lance can go. At least the wild would be nice to keep. If anything, this is just going to make the deck even thinner and speed us up. I might not even... I will remove the dregs. That does then make this a bit more valuable, I suppose, but... I'm just going to re-roll it. Cuttlebeard is so strong. Hell's Banners is back for that final last minute of indication. Mold braces. Don't really think we. I mean, I was going to say we don't really need it, but then what are we spending the money on? What are we spending the money on if we don't do that? Yes, that is how I feel about that. I still want to give it holdover because it doesn't seem very necessary. It's just I'd rather draw other cards, and I don't think I'm going to really play the drains until 
very late in the fight anyway. I suppose I could purge one more. I could re-roll for... Not that. I'm just gonna leave. I think it's fine. Like, I, I didn't... It's not 100% optimal, I suppose. We might actually have to play them because... Play the drains because, um... Heavies are probably gonna get to the top. We just have to be really careful about how we play around with uh, our, our consume spells. But this is a pretty good turn one. Running, you don't immediately die. I don't need to do it. Okay, okay, okay. That's annoying, but sure. You go then. You have consumed printer on you anyway. You're only taking 22. I don't really want to consume this. Yeah. This is a lot of damage, but that's only because we've got the Entombed Explosive. And we're not going to get many of these because our Molded is eventually going to get consumed somehow. I kind of don't want to play the spells because I'd rather just save up for the end of the fight. But equally, I can't really be afford 15. This is a lot of damage here. 110, minus 22. 90 odd. Siren of the Sea a bit better as well. Ugh. Yeah, I'm going to take a lot of pie damage and it's going to be quite close. I do feel a little bit silly that I didn't quite I could have maybe kept some more of the uh, Frozen Lances in for this reason. There's a question about whether the drains go here to take less pyre damage, or whether they go here to get the stack, get the saps stacked up. It's too early for this, right? Like this doesn't make any difference. You go down to zero sap. This six sap gets expired, but then it will make potentially. Uh, well, you're dead. Thirty-four, and a spell weakness for my next turn as well. I am gonna do this actually. Because I, these numbers are actually a lot lower than I thought they would be. This one is a bit more upsetting. This is also very scary. Guaranteed to get... Oh no, that's, that's not how numbers work. That's not how numbers work. Okay, well I guess I'm taking 10 there. I suppose I could draw a card. But. So we've got the spike of the Stygian that we can do for a big number at some point. As well, let's not forget that. I guess I'm consuming you. Is it spare down here or not? Gets you more uh, harvests, but it does sort this floor out pretty ha pretty tastily. If I'm going to give you a harvest, then why would I not just put a drag down there? Oh, you don't even die. Interesting. 
I'll save this. There's a good chance I draw on my next turn. Ah, I, I got it. Maybe I do just apply six saps, not very much. We can do better than that. With these two and the molten uh, going, we, we, we can do better. You know, and I realise that's like my famous last words. Ten is not great, but I will I will take it. Oh, the Titan's Tooth is here. So we did draw it. That was very well timed. And uh, I'm scared that I now just don't have that again. But what else can you do? What else can you do, eh? You're not dead. You're dead. You're getting five. That's fine. I suppose. Is now the time? Is now the time for this? Still only a six. Yeah, I pushed my luck with it last time. And I'll take one fire damage for the privilege of that. Oh, I guess I'm taking two fire damage for the privilege. Oh, it's double heavies, man. It's double heavies. This is a lot. This is a lot. This is where it starts getting nasty. This is worrying. Um, I can't tell you why I did it that way around. I guess I am just silly. This card has been nothing. There's been no help at all. I just want to sap you because you've got 164 health. <laughs> okay. Okay. I think I think I might be dead. Maybe not. Maybe this molded is gonna save me at least for this turn. This is not enough numbers, is it? Oh, what a draw. What a draw. I mean, I could have drip fooled it in a worst case scenario, but. You have 330 health. I'll, I'll get this again. I need to make sure that you live really just to do something to some of these enemies. I want to drip full any of this. I suppose you can go back down to the bottom. Uh, no! I knew it was going to be close. We definitely beat Seraph, though. I'm pretty sure that we beat Seraph if we could deal with double heavies. I didn't didn't see any other cards. I feel like I feel like we took the best units and the best cards and the best plan that we got offered. You know? Maybe more drafts. Well no, because the drafts weren't ever going to do as much as a molten encasement was doing. Molten encasements were very very important in that fight. Maybe I needed to duplicate a molded so that I could reform more molded encasements. Oh well, good run, good run. I'm not ups I'm not upset about uh, it, about losing that one. I don't feel like I threw. Maybe there's it, it, it's winnable. The run's winnable, obviously, but I don't feel bad that I personally lost it, which is nice. It makes a change. All right, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please let me know by either leaving a like or a comment. And if you want to see more Monster Train, then you can always subscribe and you'll get Monster Train daily. Delivered unto you daily. Other than that, thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.